Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing some useful tools WordPress provides to streamline your content creation process. Click on Tools from the left hand menu to access the sub panel. The Press This Bookmarklet enables you to post and publish content quickly using a bookmark. The process of adding a bookmark will vary between browsers, so have a look at official support documents if you're unsure. The browser I'm using is Google Chrome. To add a bookmark, simply drag Press This to the bookmarks bar at the top. If you do not see a bookmarks bar, enable it by going to Settings, Bookmarks, and check Show Bookmarks Bar. Alternatively, you can right click, press this, copy the code, add it as a bookmark, and then create a shortcut. After you've added the shortcut, whenever you browse the internet and come across something you'd like to post to your blog, Simply highlight the text you'd like to post and click the Press This bookmark. This will open a mini editor containing the title of the article, the paragraph you highlighted, and a link to the full article on the original website. You have the option of adding images or videos from the original article and use them in your post. Select a category. Specify a post format, add relevant tags, and then click Publish. After the post has been published, you can view or edit the post or close the pop-up window. The Category and Tags Converter will convert all your categories into tags, or vice versa. Unless you have a good reason to use this, it's generally better to leave this tool untouched. WordPress also comes with a number of importing tools. If you have previously used platforms like Blogger, LiveJournal, RSS feeds, Tumblr, or other WordPress websites, these tools make it easy for you to migrate old content to your new site. To use these tools, click on a platform you'd like to migrate from, and an install window will pop up. You can view details of this tool, as well as a summary on the right hand side. You can also have a look at installation instructions, view the change log, frequently asked questions, and notes. When you're all set, click Install Now, then follow the instructions to import your data. Last but not least, the Export tool will create an XML file for you to save to your computer. By default, the XML file will contain all your posts, pages, comments, custom fields, menus and custom posts. If you'd like, you can export just your posts. You can narrow down the export criteria even further by specifying categories, authors, date range and post status. Or you can choose to export only pages. Just like posts, you can further refine page export options by specifying authors, date range and status. When you're happy with the settings, Click Download Export File. This export tool is useful for creating a backup of your site's content or to migrate your site to another WordPress blog. It's worth noting, although the export tool is useful for backing up your content, it does not back up other important components and settings like the theme files, plugins, media or menu configurations. If you want to create a backup of your entire site, it's worth taking a look at WordPress or Backup Buddy. Both of these plugins will create complete backups of your WordPress website. Next, in the last video of 3 Block B, we are going to be taking a look at settings and configurations in WordPress.